Brendan, commiserations. Why didn't it go Leicester's way tonight? We, we gave away two soft goals. Um, two of our young players have been absolutely brilliant. You know, we'll learn. We've um, given away a needless corner and then we didn't def defend that well enough. It was too easy and uh, needed to be stronger in that moment and, and, but not concede it in the first place. And the second one's a very, 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 very soft penalty. I think it was barely a touch if there was a touch. But uh, So that put us back in the game. But showed a great fight, great reaction and uh, Maybe could have nicked something at the end. Emotion-wise, do you think it was always going to be hard? You know, your players on an all-time high and Chelsea's, I don't want to say wanting revenge, but, you know, they were coming from bottom trying to rise up again and they showed it right from the start, didn't they, the way they started yeah, the game? Well, listen, they're, they're, they're the finalists of the Champions League. So that tells you that they're a squad that's, you know, arguably the, up there with the best in Europe. So, uh, so were, yeah, we expected the reaction. We had to deal with that pressure uh, at the beginning of the game. But I thought... Uh, I thought the players did that. You know, we weathered the storm. We had a little bit of luck along the way. Uh, we couldn't quite find a pass, and we were too slow in our passing. You know, we needed to, to play forward more. Um, and then, the last 20 minutes, 25 minutes of the game, we started to be much more progressive. Why did you change the shape tonight uh, to drop out Kalecchi and bring in James into the side? Well, just his, just his legs. Just he'd, he'd ran so much at the weekend, given absolutely everything. We wanted the pace of Jamie to threaten the back line and then try and have uh, two number 10s and Ayo and James in behind and then hopefully be in the game right through to the last half hour and then he comes in and he does well, kills. Yeah, obviously got the goal and then were you always thinking you're going to get that one chance and ultimately I say... Yeah, well, well that, was, that was the plan. We, we, we get 2-1, it makes it interesting. We're playing well. The only thing I would say is just we need a little bit more craft in the final third, a little bit more patience and then we might have had maybe one or two more opportunities but... I can't fault the effort and the mentality of the team. You've been through so much this season, games all over the continent, injuries to some of your key players at vital times, everyone's chipped and dug in where they've had to. How do you kind of get them together for one final push on Sunday now? It was very easy because I've got an honest group of players who have given me absolutely everything this season. And as you say, we've had so much injuries, everything else, but we have, uh, we, we have an opportunity still at the weekend Let's get the victory there. Let's recover over these next few days, get our plan together again and see if we can finish with three points. It may have been a quarter full tonight, but to us watching, felt like it was a lot more than that. Do you hope that the Leicester fans can create that kind of atmosphere for you and try well, to push you that be, step further? They really pushed us over the line at the weekend with an amazing effort between them and ourselves. So hopefully they can do that at the weekend and then we'll see where we're at.